Assalamualaikum, dear viewers. Hello to everyone. My name is Alam Mahbu. I am a volunteer of 24 Asia organization and I do volunteering for training team. Since we provide a lot of trainings, so we need to create some assignments for our students. So this is an example of assignment like for the Microsoft Excel assignment 01. Now I'm going to show you step by step how really you can make this assignment I and mean, same as this assignment in your Microsoft Excel file. So let's start. Before start you need to open your Microsoft Excel file. So I'm going to open my Microsoft Excel file. Okay. After open your Microsoft Excel file you need to choose the blank workbook. So I'm going to choose this after choose this blank workbook this is your home interface of microsoft excel file so what i do my this uh, reference image i will insert here first and then i see and i will make this file that will be more easy for me so let's do that for that what you need to do uh, you need to select the insert options and then you need to go on pictures options then you need to find where you keep these assignments actually Excel at the main zero one, so click insert. So your assignment uh, already come in here already. You just drag it something like that by pressing the co corner and leave it here. This is a reference for you. But uh, for this reference, actually, you see first, this is uh, by they, they set up the face or assignment something like that. I'm talking about the face setup. This is not a portrait. This is a landscape paper style. Before you start doing anything, actually, you can choose if you want. I mean, if you want, you can choose your uh, paper face setup, paper style, everything. You can set up first. So for me, uh, I will do the pay setup first for that i will go to file options and then i will click print options from print options see i can see this is a portrait but our assignment is landscape style so to, to, to change this i will click pay setup options from here i will change it to landscape and see paper file paper size is by default later so from here i will change it to a4 size and click on ok oh here you go the, our page setup uh, actually landscape already so you can go back by clicking here and this is your home interface again so push right side your reference this just just line if you see don't worry this is your boundary uh, print border boundary i mean here to here your landscape size the paper the whole paper size okay let's start we can see here blank we can see here blank 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 or whatever for the blank maybe we can leave this row never mind then from the second row we can start typing this is the what the right the right actually full name so i'm going to start from here full name it will be caps lock you can keep on caps lock uh, i mean you can press caps lock from your keyboard and can start typing all is capital letter full name okay from here full name you can see by default size the row actually come out ready that's the case you can click like that and you can drag it like that this is one formula and the second formula you can click like that you can click right and column width column width is 17 so let's say i put it 20 i click it enter so it's 20 you can change some two three four five six seven total is seven row. one two three four five six seven total seven look like all is similar so this is just now uh, we give the row uh, column width is 20 okay so total seven one two three four five six right click sorry 16.5 and okay click 17 okay 17 i will keep 17 so i give full name here and then below one is training and then third one is assignment assignment and then last one is whatsapp whatsapp okay now we will start from here you can see this all is look like the bold okay we'll do it bold later now we can do one time bold first select all those and click on bold okay we don't change the size and we don't change the font we keep this first and then here we need to choose this colon and the name so uh, when you are a student you can put your name because this is who create before you put his name now i'm creating so i'll put my name to to given this colon what you need to do click on shift and find this colon from your keyboard and then give on space and write your name i'm going to type in my name and then training name is microsoft x now okay one more haven't this is my whatsapp number 
after everything I am I'll select all and click on bold so I make it bold after that we can see one underline here and here we can see 24 year computer training class assignment like this is the only one two three slash three so this is our last three one two three okay we'll create here for that i choose this two line or two row and one two three row two line so we can merge it like that after merge we can type in here 24 asia computer training the training okay and then this is you can make bigger like 24 and put it bold yes it look nice and then class assignment for the class assignment you can choose another two and just merge like that and type class assignment is all is capital so you need to choose the capital class assignments i think you need to change the font let me change Arial rounded empty ball we put this and then we need to select the color is red color you can select like that and this is the size is 24 you chose this from here you backspace type 24 enter for to equal of this and this is which we can change here Arial narrow see what ah, keep it narrow and this is the two is two ah, see this is Arial rounded 24 size and this is Arial narrow 24 size okay we leave it like that it's done now the issue is we can see the after the name here is underline 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 so this is very easy you can do something like that also you can march like that like that and then you can like that march this you march no march also can okay then you select this select the bottom border one you select this if you cannot find you can see all kinds of border have you can choose from here okay i'm selecting this this then very easy actually and for the last one actually no need because you can see here one the black color border so now now is our part to make this border how how we make let's see that oh we forgot to give this gap so to give this gap actually you can choose this row and right click your mouse row height row height by code is 14.4 you can change it to 30 under we keep 30 first then see what's happened later we can adjust it okay uh, you can keep save your file we save it to documents inside just to book one save whatever we need we will keep it saved okay and then our part is one two three okay one two three we need to merge it for this and then another one two three four one two three four margin yes i selected this four and do it merge okay now i write in here first uh, class assignment title class class assignment title okay and here they are writing class assignment details assignment details okay after that uh, we can see here this little bit gap 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 uh, actually we never get the gap here for that you can actually do you can choose something like that and then what you can do you just right click and you can increase the row height by default is 14.4 right so maybe we put it 16 and give enter of oh, it's like that maybe we can increase something more uh, backspace 20 maybe 20 after give 20 you can see this word come to below that you can show something like that and you can give it to upper level okay so this and this is look like uh, near going to look something different okay uh this row height actually we need to change i think by default we keep the by default first uh we need to change it to black color right so for that you just choose this and you can choose it from here and we just click on this black but we need to give the word white color okay mm. i just give yellow first okay choose change the color white right, like that leave it to white color now you can brown black color okay class assignment title class assignment details like that you can make it and the below one is same format so just merge like that and this for you merge like that after here for the writing daily groceries simple excel sheet with some formula use let's type that first daily groceries daily groceries and this column they got right simple excel sheet with some formula yes okay that's done oh uh, we can increase the height mm, just put it 20 okay just put it 20 and then they go for another is red color so you can choose all those and you can merge it they, do, they write what again white color text they use white color text so we type first daily groceries list daily groceries list after typing finish you can select like that your words and then you come to home options if you don't come then you choose from here put it with color first now you cannot see but when we use the back, uh, background is other color then we can see because we already do that uh, oh, we can choose this color uh, if you want more color also you can yep. you can go to customs also uh, you just like that okay daily groceries list okay 
and then below they use another one is actually they put here uh, hash but we can put it here serial number sl number something like that they put it center right so they put it center we can make it center by here making here and then items items let me type first and then brand product nice product brand product qty means quantity and then they write unit price after that they got right total price after that they got right remarks okay so all those is yellow and they put it center you can choose on time all like that and you can just click on center here okay you see it's already move on to center but the cell the background color they chose it to yellow color okay well, it's not I think this color you can put it this color but uh, here is something different actually they start bordering using so actually we also can use we can start using border i mean if you want to single border uh, you can choose like that you can give these to uh, all borders then this one also you can choose and you can choose also borders and from here you can choose actually all borders like that also you can so you will all the borders you have groceries and center they were using all the borders okay so we put this border also and then what you need to do one two three four for this serial one two three four you just type one and you type two okay just listen carefully these two you select center first after select center you these two select like that then from here you just track how many they put then then so you need to type all okay and then items you must type this one no choice you need to type now i'm typing so i don't talk much i'll okay just keep on watching the video sorry i make a mistake i need to choose this words this white color and bold i select this though and make it bold first and then i choose this white color okay i'm so sorry and then we can see this also look like the bold one can choose the bold all this and put it bold okay also can never mind uh, and then unit price okay now here's the uh what you can see unit price sell uh this row you can see the currency they put 1.05 and the left side is a mark uh i make it bigger mark of s this is actually symbol so how you can do that you actually need to select the whole whole things and you need to change the cell system so for that what you need to do you just select all your cells one time together and right click after right click you click on format cells come to here after come come here you can choose from here uh, accounting actually after accounting you can see this symbol and this symbol place minimum you keep two and then you just click on okay so you cannot see any changes here but one once we type something we can change the uh, we can see the changes okay so let me type the first one is uh, 1.05 when i keep on i type key in 1.05 you see automatic this s you can see okay i show you again you select like that right click come to format cells option from here from this numbering sections you, you select the accounting and you see this automatic will come if no come you can choose from here also okay from there you just click on okay okay so first one is uh, 1.05 then second one is 450 450 already okay this is the adjust right this is the just left we are just left this is also just left this is center we keep it center uh, uh, i mean center we will change they put here hash we we'll put it as a number means serial number okay and then the unit price we have total price actually is 5.25 total price also i i show you again select one time like that then click uh mouse right click click on format cells from this number come to accounting just uh come to accounting and click on okay okay ready so okay see see very carefully okay here we have the quantity 5 here we have the unit price 1.05 so we need to get the total price here you see the total uh, price they got 5.25 but you no need to type in here we will use the formula this that's why actually people use for microsoft excel to for using all those calculation things so now we're going to multiplicate multiplication with this cell and with this cell so the result we will get here so as we want to get the result here we need to choose this cell after choose this cell you need to use the formula so formula actually after you choose this cell you can click here and then you need to uh, put the formula here the formula will be something like that you need to put the, this first and then you need to type sum sum after you key in the sum you need to key in the first bracket after this first bracket what you going to do your intention is you want to do multiplication with this cell and this cell you can choose this cell first or you can choose this cell first it's up to you no matter so i choose this first and then what i'm going to do multiplication for the multiplication you need to uh, use this star if sometimes you don't come you need to press the shift button and then you will click the another cell so these two cell already you have okay 
now how come this d10 and e10 okay you see this is my d serial okay this is my d serial okay and this side is c is 10 so that's why this is d d10 and then this is this is, is e10 how come e10 you see this is e serials and this side is 10 so that's why e10 so after i give some um, and then this sum first bracket after i choose my both cells and i need to now i need to close the first bracket after you close this first bracket your formula is given done you just need to do what just press enter you see uh, when i press enter automatic the sum is come after what you need to do you just select like that and drag from here to until your last so all those things is automatic coming i go back again uh, manually show you again select this cell let's say now i want to multiplication with this cell and this cell so i chose um, i select this and then i, I I, I reuse the formula and to close the bracket and just press enter so you get actually you want to yes now the eg formula is you just select this and from from this from this point you just drag below so all will be multiplication like that how you want to verify you, you click here you see your formula is there you click here you see your formula is there this is how actually you can do it and what they do they use another no they we can use now our all those is uh, boundary i mean the border to that you can select like that until here and you can select these all borders so your all the borders actually you've got ready now the option c is total price another and this 99.45 total this is also total equation okay here they get is how much 99.45 this cell also we need to click right click format we need to change the format first okay we change the format first and then all those they just do it addition so we we'll also do the addition to do that what you need to do same the formula you can use you can drag like that and then enter close the bracket press enter 5 9 85 10.60 16 5 18 uh, we got to keep something wrong let me clarify 1.05 4.50 2.95 and then 2.65 and then 16 okay 16 and then 3.80 3.80 11.50 11.50 25 and then 3 3 2 2 5 i think they got uh, they were making mistake i think so so this is actually our correct one okay uh, if I use the formula like that, check. So I'm going to do that. We will add this. Click add. We we'll do manually. See what's going wrong. Finish and then close the bracket. Press enter. You see, one hundred eight point eighty five. So they make a mistake. Don't worry. They make it bold. So we'll do it the bold. Uh, select this and then come to home select this bold and all these you can select like that you can merge after mark you can type it here total price P -O. total price this also bold we can bold it by click like that and they put, also need to put the border put the border or border okay so we will put up our border ready and then they put the shows from HTTP in from blah 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 okay our things actually done ready okay now what is the balance is this source from source from which you just can write here yeah so you are source yes but then you can choose the red color so you can use the red color the red color you want to make it bold also you can make it bold something like that okay that's all so this is our assignment or the reference i delete the reference now all things is done now we will beautify our whole things okay we will go, we'll go to the I mean, we'll go to the file options, then we'll go to the print options because we want to see the PDF. Okay, you see, our right side is small gap, left side is less. So, outside also has many gaps, below so many gaps. So, what we can do, we actually can make big all those uh, gaps and all those rows. So, we will adjust it. How we can adjust? Select all those, right click, row the height is put it 17. So, that's right. Okay, 17. Okay, click save. Go to print option, see the print preview. Um, something like that. this type of things. You can choose something like this also if you want. Step right almost there. This is the things actually done. We actually done. And then what we can do? We just save it. So our assignment zero one is done.